Hello and welcome to another episode of Live Cold Calling. We're going to spend the first few minutes just letting people join us, come in, come say hello, make sure that we are live. Sometimes I know that I'm not the most technological of men. Um, so I'm just going to see if there are any comments coming in to see that people are now watching us live because, hey, I've been known to mess things up. Now, you may be asking, where is my good friend, Mr. Thompson? And I'm going to tell you where Mr. Thompson is very, very soon. Um, I can see that some people have started joining us. We're starting to get some viewers. Uh, if you're here, please say hello. Let us know where you're from. Uh, this is the live cold calling show every Wednesday from three o'clock till four o'clock. Last week's episode was a hoot, as they say in the industry. It was lots and lots of fun. Um, and this this uh, this week's episode is going to be even better because I've got a big surprise for everybody. So do we do we have any comments? Let me see. For some reason, I can't see what people are saying. OK. Live comments show up on StreamYard. No, we don't want that. Can't post comments to LinkedIn. I don't know. If anybody's there and you want to say hello, please do. Um, but we've got about 100 people so far. So this is going to be the live cold calling show. Thank you for joining. We're only a few minutes in. Don't worry. There will be cold calls. Um, yes, the comments are flying in. Big up, money on the map. 0161, yo, yo, yo. Let us know where you are tuning in live from. You could be from Manchester. You could be from California. Uh, my name is Jack Frimson. I'm a co-director of a company called We Have a Meeting, and we specialize in the old cold call with my old daddy phone. Um, anyway, right. So if you if you watched last week's episode, um, a little bit of craziness. We received a lot of hate from one man who has been in my DM since telling me um that I'm a, a shambles to the industry, but we can talk about that later on. Um, the guy from Game of Thrones, Mr. Zach Thompson. Zach Thompson will be joining us very shortly. But in the meantime, because Zach isn't here, I have been looking to find somebody more muscular, better looking, and possibly better at cold calling. Who knows? Who knows if this guy is going to be able to do that? So without further ado... I would like to invite our special guest to the show. He goes by the name of Munro. Munro, how are you? Hello, Jack. How are we doing? Nice to see you today. Good to see you. Good to see you. Thank you for thank you for being Zach Thompson. You're more than welcome. I'll do my best. I doubt I'm going to be uh, pulling off any amazing cold calls, but we'll see what we can uh, see what we can rustle up. I think I think you're, you're you're the eye candy section. That's what we brought you in for. You're the Zach Thompson's not here. The curls aren't here, so we brought in Mr. Monroe. Um, so Monroe, I guess let me hit, hit you with a question. If you if you listen to our podcast, you might know this question. But who are you? Um, and from your job, what what problem do you solve? Uh, good question. Yeah, great question. I wouldn't be in sales if I didn't say that to to every question that was asked to me. Right? Um, no. So yeah, obviously I'm I'm Monroe. Um, and I guess the problems I solve is a bit of a tricky one because uh, the way I describe my solution or the company that I sell for is, is almost like a Swiss army knife. You know, there's there's a hundred different things that we solve. So there's plenty of problems. Um, but I suppose the ICP that I go after is sort of, you know, HR professionals. Um, and we do our best to sort of help them manage their workforce with our uh, HR platform. And what have you found about HR professionals? Um, what have you found in terms of like their personality when it comes to cold calling? Um, they don't like being called on their personal phones, even though I think every number could be considered a personal number, right? It's a personal number. It's not a thing. Exactly. exactly. But no, besides that, it's been uh, it's definitely been interesting sort of ICP to go into. Um, and it's, yeah, it's pretty different from the usual sort of C-suite. So, yeah, it makes for an interesting conversation sometimes. OK, well, listen, you've been thrown in the deep end today. You, you're going to join us. Zach is coming. Zach will be here very soon. We've had a comment saying no live cold calling. I don't know if you've ever been to a restaurant, Noel Ratcliffe, but let me put it this way. You don't just dive into the main course, do you? You say, can I have a bit of bread and can I have a bit of butter? Yes, please. Um, so that was just a little taster for you. But you are right. Where is the cold calling? Um, so the, the, the same rules apply as last time. If you're live and you're watching it and you you have uh, people that follow you that are cold callers and you think, actually, if I share this on my LinkedIn feed, 
somebody's going to get some value out of this, share it. Share it away. Let's see how the numbers do compared to last week. So, you've got your list, haven't you, Monro? I do, yeah. I'm all set with my data. Okay. So, we're going to start dialing at the same time. You know the rules. The uh, the second that somebody gets to connect, the other one will shut up and uh, we'll see how the day goes. Fantastic. Okay. Here we go. First dial. Anyone nervous? Not me. No. Hello, David here. Uh, I can't get to the phone right now. Oh, he sucker punched me there. I really thought that that was, I thought that was a real life David. Anyway. Welcome to the O2 message. No joy, no joy, no joy. <laughs> Hello. Hi, is that Nikolai? Speaking. Hello, Nikolai. I'm going to be very honest with you because I'm sure you get a lot of calls like this. It is a sales yes, call. I do. I'm sure you get yes, bombarded. I do. <laughs> well, it is a sales call. I don't know if that makes you want to slam the phone back down or, or let me run through in 30 seconds. Completely up to you. Uh, I'm going to sell my product back to you. <laughs> You're going to sell. Okay. Well, because I called you, is it fair that I go first? And if I can't help you, sure. then you can sell it back to me. Is that fair? Sure. Brilliant. Yeah. Well, I'll whiz through in 30 seconds. If it's not relevant, then it's your turn. Um, so, Nikolai, if I told you that we get invited in by ambitious businesses who, if they're honest, they might be having some difficulty when it comes to the new business and the growth side of things. So it might be not getting in front of the right types of people. So it might be a quantity and you want to bring in a few more prospects and fill that pipeline. It could be not getting in front of um, enough people. So it could be a quality issue and you actually want to focus on bringing in more of the right clients to your business. Or you might have a dream sector or a new area that you've always wanted to break into, but you're not sure how to get started with that. I get a feeling this is the part where you tell me none of those problems exist and everything's perfect. No, of course they do exist. Of course, uh, it, it's, uh, it's a problem common to everybody, but that's not something that uh, uh, is, is an outsourced um, sales. It's something that's... Uh, I should start setting as a co as a as a founder of the business, okay. and then move on to to hiring consultants when it comes to when it comes to scaling up. Um, but uh, yeah, so what we're doing is we're selling non-invasive brain stimulation products. So it is uh, like um, what we call the e-meditation device, but um, it's essentially like uh, helping you to get into that meditative state very, very quickly instead of spending hours and hours and basically uses tiny electric fields to put your brain in a, in a, in a, uh, in a particular state of mind, which helps, uh, we've shown in studies, how to reduce stress, reduce burnout. And uh, it's basically, you know, our, our issue is that everybody wants to be a part of it. Everybody wants to be, everybody, you know, uh, you've been stressed over the past uh, a couple of years. So that's something that you could potentially become a client of as well. So, um, and, and yeah, I think it's uh, your business could probably, you know, your call, we had as, uh, as businesses, like for example, the call center, just like yours, uh, of a telecommunications company, uh, their employees used it and helped them be more productive, happier at work at, uh, yeah, just generally uh, improve mental well-being at work. So this is uh, probably an interesting prospect for you as well. You know, a problem that you've been dealing with. You know, mm. I'm, I'm going to be honest. Like the tone of your voice, it's lovely. It's putting me into a meditative state at the moment. <laughs> um, I get uh, that's uh, that, that's uh, strange because uh, normally I'm I'm a, I'm a scientist by background, so this is my invention. Uh, yeah, it's uh, going down this. Uh, uh, scientific journey made it very difficult to pick up the salesman, but no, there you go. Thank you for the compliments. No worries. Well, I guess your your go to market strategy. I'm I'm sure that you're not sat there by the phone all day waiting for people to cold call you to to sell your product. So I guess when it comes to getting in front of more people, what what does that actually look like for you? Can you give me an example? Well, first of all, I need to physically make the devices. 
So it's a, of course, it's a custom uh, device that's been made by our company. So what I'm doing at the moment is actually manufacturing facility and physically manufacturing. And that's the first step. And it's a little bit of a bottleneck at the moment. So that's why we're not uh, you know, full on on sales. Uh, which is, you know, whatever we can manufacture gets sold out uh, as a waiting list. So, and then secondly, you know, for smaller clients, individuals, they just buy it off the shelf. Like, uh, uh, well, students is probably a bit too expensive, but for for businesses or for high network individuals, a thousand bucks, nothing. Um, so, and then once uh, and, and for businesses you know I, I especially the uk based businesses i can come out do the demo set everything up and uh yeah and then you know if necessary to run a pilot before committing to a large purchase order that's fine as well by me that's that's how it looks at the moment okay so so let me just just so i understand so it's b2c and b2b and at the moment there's no devices to actually sell so even if i said I've got my credit card out right now. There's nothing we could do. Uh, there's, you can sort of, uh, you know, if you intend to purchase, then I can put you into the next batch. So this batch that I just made, that's already sold out. So the next one, it's going to be about 10, 20 devices. Uh, that's where, uh, that's where I could make one for you. Okay. Makes sense. Right. Well, listen, I don't know if I've taken up a lot of your time or, or not, but I guess when it came to the three problems, more people, the right people, it, it sounds like you're not in that position where any of those problems actually exist at the moment. And you're, you're probably a few months we're away. A early, we're a bit early for you to mm. jump in at this stage. So we are at the stage where we're happy for you to give it a try. And then if you like it, I could be useful for your business. Are you a business owner or your a uh, consultant? That's a great question. I guess if I told you I was a bit of both, what would you tell me? Um, interesting. How, how's it, well, I mean, there's one thing when it's your business, and it's a completely different thing when uh, you're working for somebody else. And I know that I had salespeople in my company, uh, so it's just not the same. Uh, you know, okay. as, as if they're working for, well, as when they're working for themselves. So what's your situation? Can you clarify that maybe? Yeah, so, so I'm a business owner. I, You know what I think's best to do right now? I think, um, listen, I've, I've taken up enough of your time. I, I really appreciate you you taking the call. I'll connect with you. I'll, um, I've will i got your email. I'll drop you a line and, and it may be good to catch up and sure. have a little bit of a deeper look. My name's Jack. Jack. David Frimston, Jack. yes. Jack David. Frimston, yes. From which company, sorry, the line dropped? The company is called We Have a Meeting, WAM for short. Uh, I don't get it. <laughs> okay. Yeah, yeah, we have, we have a meeting. We, we book meetings, WAM, as in George Michael. Um, Nikolai, lovely speaking to you. Sorry. I'm, I'm going to... Um, sorry. It's okay. <laughs> oh, I'm going to... I'm going to jump. I will drop you a, I'll drop you an email later on. It's been lovely speaking to you. I want to hear more about this meditative state. Take care, my man. Have a, have, a look at, have a look at our website. Yes, I will. I'll give you plenty of information, and then let's move on from there. Okay. Beautiful. Lovely. Thank you. Thank you very much. Thank Bye-bye. You. Take care. Bye-bye. That is a long-winded way of trying to get a cold call off the phone, isn't it? Well, he did his job. If his job was to get rid of me, he got, got <laughs> someone in the comments just said, I'll drop you an email. I've never heard that from a <laughs> salesperson. Yeah, yeah, I'll, I'll send you the email. Don't worry about it. Um, that was that was interesting. Um, I'm going to do a little bit of a, a dissect on it, though. We're 15 minutes in. We've had one call. The guy likes to chat. You know what? What he was talking about there, that device, when I first got with my partner now, I woke her up at five in the morning once and said, I've had this idea. I want to create a meditation station. So imagine like an actual station that helps you meditate. He has stolen my bloody idea. Should have patented it. I had a meeting with China as well. I mean, people <laughs> in China, not the whole of China. Anyway, um, give me, Monroe, obviously, 
he was trying to sell to me. What 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 was bad about it? About his pitch or your pitch? Uh, <laughs> I, I mean, can't tell who we're roasting. It's roast star cold calls. <laughs> you roast you want to roast? No, I'll roast. I'll roast Mister Meditation over there. Um, yeah, I mean, he, he he touched on some problems that he helps with, right? When you burn mm. out, and I was thinking, blimey, he's got a, a good target market here with potentially 500 salespeople that might be burnt out in the LinkedIn live comments over there. But yeah, it was, uh, there wasn't many problems that he was talking about solving apart from sort of being burnt out. Right. Yes. Okay. That was interesting. I love it when you cold call someone and I mean, this is the game of cold calling, but we're not, we're not in the game of just making friends. If I was, if I was up for making friends, I'd go to the local park and cover myself in butter, but we're not, we're not looking to do that. Uh, Mumro, I'm going to let you run at it. We're going to let you run at it. You have a, you have the next cold call. You do some dialing. Um, we'll read some comments. I think we're on just shy of 300 uh, viewers at the moment. So if, if you're enjoying it, we are going to upload this episode on YouTube after. If you've just joined us and you're probably wondering, why is that not Curly Zach Thompson? He will be with us soon. Mumro is his gorgeous replacement for the time being. If you have just joined us, you would have seen um, I cold call someone and they tried to pitch me the joys of selling. Um, so this is now Mumro's time. So, yes, this episode will be on YouTube. If you if you haven't checked out our YouTube channel, it's we have a meeting. I don't want to go into Uber salesperson and start pitching. But if you're there in the comments, let us know. Hold it higher, Mumro. I want to hear that dial tone. There we go. That's what I get off to. This is the Vodafone voice mail service. Please leave a penny for every time I heard that voicemail mm. message i like this welcome to the gift gaff voicemail um next week we're we're looking at switching it up we've got um we've got some things in the wings as they say in the industry and we are looking at bringing in some dialers which means every call will be a live conversation oh shucks stop it stop it monro okay keep dialing let's hear them I'll do my best. I'll do my best. Hello. Oh, afternoon. That's not Mandy, is it? Yes, it is. No, oh, hi, Mandy. It's Monroe here. Mandy, look, I'll be very honest with you. You're probably going to hate me for it as well, but I mean, it is actually a sales call, so I'm not sure if that makes you want to, you know, put the phone immediately back down, or well, maybe let me have thirty seconds. It's up to you. Well, you can have thirty seconds, but I do have calls, so but you, you tell, what's it about? Fantastic. Well, look, Mandy. I mean, I typically get invited into businesses usually by HR leaders who might tell me that there are maybe two or three major concerns that are top of mind for them. First one of those, they might say that, you know, they're struggling to keep their employees engaged across the entire employee life cycle. If it's not that, they might say that they're overrun with, you know, transactional processes that's really taking time away from those important strategic initiatives. Or, you know, if they don't say any of that, finally, they'll say that they're frustrated with the systems and platforms that they've already invested a lot of time and money into. Yeah. I'm not covered, sure. To be honest, we're, we're a fast growing company and it's we're looking at all of that right at the moment, putting uh, new systems in place, etc. Right. Okay. So we're always on that road. Okay. Well, out of those sort of three sort of, I guess, problems that I listed off, which which one would you say would be most relevant? Point number three then about the systems and platforms? Uh, yeah, probably. But as I said, we've, all, we've identified new systems and we're implementing at the moment. Right. Okay. So it might be too late for sort of this racehorse yeah. to, to join the race then? Yeah, unfortunately, we are a long way down that line and uh, sort of finally sort of, sort of sorting everything out ready for launch in April. Oh, yeah. No, it does sound like I've missed the boat. Well, that's fair enough then, Mandy. Hey, do you mind if I ask yeah. one last question before I let you get back to your Wednesday afternoon? Yes, of course. I don't suppose you know, I don't know, maybe any HR friends of yours that maybe aren't as fortunate and are looking for a HR system? Um, I don't actually, because um, my background is freelance, so I was looking for us oh. after SMEs until I came on board the company I'm on. So, because um, I'm now fully employed with one one um, employer, right. I don't 
um, off the top of my head. No, that's okay. That's all right. Yeah. No problem. All right, Mandy. Well, I appreciate your time. I'll let you get back to you Wednesday. Okay. Thank you very much. Okay. Thank Cheers. You. Ta-ra. That's live cold calling. That's live cold calling. You can't win them all. You can't it's win them all. That was good, mate. You sounded really good. I appreciate it. Thank you. Got a gorgeous Thank tonality. Uh, how do you feel it went? Um, yeah, it went all right. I guess maybe I should have run over the, the three pain points again because I kind of just defaulted to, to number three from what she'd mentioned. Um, obviously, I'm pretty sure she picked up that I was trying to flog her uh, HR system, right? But yeah, no, apart from that, I thought it went down pretty well. Went for the referral at the end as well. And, no, no dice, good. unfortunately. Good. I think, mate, it was it was very, very good. People are saying silky smooth, wonderful. I think the only thing would would have just been a, a long way down the line, just a bit of clarity, just getting mm. them talking. What does that journey look like? Where are they? Because I I've found it in the past. I, I've mucked up where I've like people have been like, yeah, we're down the road on this. And mm. What they've meant is they're down the road on like the buying process. Mm. Whereas like not actually on the implementation. It did sound like she was there because she was like, we're implementing it in April. But yeah, beautiful. Guys, if, if you're watching this live at home or live at work, you've got it on mute or whatever, please say, well done, Monroe. That was really lovely. Well done, Monroe. Thank you, Thank you very much. I'm available to hire for stunt double gigs as well if anybody else out there looks like Zach. So, yeah. You know. he, might, um, he might not make it. He might be the... Uh, that, that might be you now. You, this might be your gig. Um, right, should we start dialing together? Yeah, let's go for it. Number. Welcome to the mm, incorrect number, eh? Mm. You're getting a lot of love in the comments, mate. And uh, I'm going to say much. it. It's very well deserved. Thank you. Never thought I'd see the day I'd be recognised for being a good salesperson, but here we are. There we go. My childhood, childhood dream to come true. <laughs> Hello. Hello. Hi, is that Nicola? Who's speaking? Oh, I, oh, it sounds like I've not come through to Nicola. Nicola's not there, is she? Yeah, it's, it's me. Oh, Nicola, uh, I'll be very honest because you, you're probably going to hate me now. It, it is actually a sales call. I don't know if that makes you want to slam the phone back down or let me run through in 30 seconds. Completely up to you. Yeah, we have to go. Sorry. Thank you, ha you. you have to go? Can I run? Yeah. Okay. Can I run through in 30 seconds? And if it's not relevant, we, we can leave it there? Yeah. Brilliant. Well, well, I'll run through quickly and, and we'll see if it's relevant or not. Uh, so, Nicola, I guess if I told you we get invited in by ambitious businesses who might have some difficulty when it comes to the new business and growth side of things, they might be not getting in front of the right types of people. So it could be a quality um, issue and, and you want to bring in a few more prospects and fill that pipeline. It could be that you're not getting in front of enough people. So it could be a quality people, uh, quality thing and you're actually wanting to bring in uh, more of the right clients to your business. Or you might have a new sector that you've always dreamed of breaking into, but you're just not entirely sure on how to get started with that. Nicola, I think this is the part where you tell me you don't recognise any of those problems, everything's perfect and you've got to go. I have to go. Thank you. <laughs> you have to go. It sounds like everything's perfect. Yeah. Yeah? Thank you so much. No Thanks. worries. Well, that was a, a turn up for the books, weren't we? You get a bit flustered sometimes. You both dial in at the same time. You think both of you have answered. You're going, who's kissing who? Who's going where? What am I doing? Next thing you know, you're saying, is that Nicola? And it's a man on the end of the phone. And my brain's going, Nicola's not a man's name. But I've just learned a very valuable lesson there, Monroe. We need a dialer. That's that's the lesson there. <laughs> yeah, we need that's a dialer. 18th century. <laughs> Don't worry. Next week, dialers are incoming. Just, just stick with the old technology for now. Um, let's dial again. Let's keep going. Cool. It's all changing. It's going to get bigger. It's going to get better. It's going to get braver. It's going to get bolder.
Okay, let's have a little look on the uh, the numbers, see how we are doing on the live show. Um, just shy of 300. Good. Okay. Hello. 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 Is that Ollie? It is, yeah. Hello, Ollie. I'm going to be very honest with you because I'm sure you get bombarded with calls like this. It is a sales call. I don't know if that makes you want to slam the phone down or let me run through in 30 seconds. Completely up to you. What are you selling? Great question. I, I guess, can I run through in 30 seconds? And if it's not relevant or it's boring, we, we can leave it there. Yeah, for it. Okay, yeah. brilliant. Uh, well, Ollie, I, I typically get invited in by ambitious software companies who, if they're honest, they might be having some difficulty when it comes to the new business and growth side of things. So maybe they're not getting in front of the right types of people. So it might be a quality issue. Um, you're wanting to bring in the right right people. It could be that you're not getting in front of enough people. So it could be a quantity and you want to fill that pipeline with more of the right people. Or maybe it's a, a new sector that you've always dreamed of or you're trying to break into a new area, but you're just not entirely sure on how to get started with that. Ollie, I, I think this is the bit of the call where you tell me you don't recognise any of these problems and everything's perfect. Um, yeah, fortunately, that's that's the case. We're uh, we're doing pretty good at the moment. Okay, that's the case, and you're doing pretty good at the moment. So it, it sounds like I'm barking up the wrong tree. None of those problems stand out to you whatsoever. At the moment, yeah. Okay, that's fair. I guess can I ask one last question before I let you go, Ollie? Sure. Yeah. What would need to change within the business for you to say, actually, I'm I'm glad you've called. Um, we would need to be looking in the first place, which we're not at the moment. Um, and we would need to struggle to solve those things on our own already. We, we have, broadly speaking, existing expertise. And if not, we have existing partners or, or contacts that have those bespoke connections. Mm. So, you sound very we, you sound very confident. What What's the secret? <laughs> Just years of experience, I guess. Years of experience. Networking. Okay. Yeah. So it sounds like even if I knocked on your door and I said, I've got five people that want to work with you, it sounds like you, you probably couldn't take them on. Um, at the moment, no. No. Good problem to have. A really, uh, really well, good problem. It's only one that's been recently solved. I'm not in any way arrogant or anything. But, um, yeah, it's, it's just uh, we're, we're, yes, yeah, now, now we're, we're, we're lucky to be in a good spot. Okay. And, and what would have to change in the future for you to say, actually i think this is something we should explore um number, I'll say, number one we're, we're looking and number two we fa we're failing on our own okay but it sounds like that's not going to happen because you've got the right well, people around you uh we would go to them first they might not be sufficient but um we'd have to discover that before um going to anyone new brilliant okay well ollie i'll be honest it sounds like i can't help you i'm I, i'm not a a hypnotist i'm not going to try and persuade you i, I can only help people that are, that are struggling and you sound like you're living the software dream and um, <laughs> so i'll let you go from it, <laughs> from it but we are we are doing just fine just now okay good stuff i guess w one more question before I let before i let you go and then i'll leave you forever is that fair okay i guess you, you don't know anybody else less fortunate than you that, that would be worth having a conversation with uh no i don't know no i didn't think you would no worries. Ollie, lovely speaking to you. Thank you for your time. Have a good day. Thank you. Take care. Bye-bye. Bye. Sounds like Ollie knows how to run a business. Would you Would you believe that some people know how to run businesses and get sales? Mad. <laughs> Mad. Rose. Good of thought. Rose, listen to the question you asked. Why did you repeat? Did I ask the same question twice? I don't think so. I think... I think was it the final question one final question one was that yeah but you or can ask, what would have to happen I think maybe what would have, no I think I said like I'm glad that we're going to put this on YouTube uh I think I said like what would have, what would have had to have happened for me to ring you up now and then what would change in the future but listen guys if I fucked up I'll take it on the chin <laughs> roast me roast me almighty oh roasters not possible what has to change I don't know. We're going to watch this back live later. I'm going to roast myself. Monroe, do you want to take one? 
I'll do my best. I'll do my best. Hopefully the answer rate can uh, can jump up a bit. But we'll see. So this is going to be on YouTube um, this evening or tomorrow. Um, if you want to watch the whole episode back, um, it's going to be great. And we might have a special guest within the next five minutes. Who knows? Let's see. Welcome to the O2 messaging service. Wait, I'm late, but where is Zach? It's mad, isn't it? Like, people know Zach from LinkedIn, which means they must see his name written down, which means how how does everybody spell it wrong and so wrong every time? Zach with a K, Zach with a H. It's okay. Georgie, it wasn't personal. Maybe I'm just protective of my man. Welcome to the wow. What's your favourite musical, Mumro? Favourite musical? Mm. Does La La Land, would that count as a musical? No, but it's a good mm. film. It's a good film. I'm not very cultured in that case, Jack. I couldn't list you a musical off the top of my head, I'm afraid. It's okay. I really like Blood Brothers. Tell me it's not true. Say. Anyway. Keep dialing. Keep dialing, Munro. I will. I've got a fart about with this CRM. This is why I should work off a spreadsheet, right? Yeah, uh, we we don't work off spreadsheets, but for the sake of cold calling, we do, mm. um, because it's easier. Of course. So the, there's lots of people that are watching. People are maybe maybe it's now now's a good time to plug what you do, Munro. If, if any HR leaders are, are watching right now. Yeah, I mean, if any HR leaders are watching right now, slide into my uh, LinkedIn DMs and we'll see if we can um, help keep your employees engaged across the entire employee life cycle for longer. Bang. I don't even know what that means. Hmm. How long would you let the phone dial? Just yeah, keep it ringing. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, I've got an announcement for you. Please bring to the stage. Are you ready for this, Monroe? It's going to kick off because he didn't know you were coming. He didn't know you were better looking than him. He's going to be mad. It's Zach Thompson. <laughs> I didn't know he was better looking than me. I also he was better looking than me. My question is, what the fuck's going on here? Why are you cheating on me? <laughs> Mate, you're busy. A lot of people have been asking where you are and spelling your name wrong, and I've been calling them out. No, you haven't. You've been saying spell it that way more. It's gonna <laughs> right. right, we're in. We've we've had some live cold calls. Do you want to know what you've missed out on? Oh, mate, I want to know more than anything. A cold called a bloke. You're not going to believe this, right? Ask. Right, this is not set up. Zach, what invention did I create at five in the morning? Uh, the, the meditation station. Holy shit. <laughs> I thought you were joking about that, but that was... I rang a bloke, right? I rang a bloke and he said, I'm going to try and sell something to you. And I was like, right, sound. He's trying to sell me the meditation station. He's patterned it. He's done everything. He does a dream. No, it's real. He's done everything yeah. besides invent it. Wow. So he's literally you. He hasn't even invented it. <laughs> You're just the same as me then. You can't just say that. <laughs> yeah, so then he started pitching to me and it was a very weird cold call. Went on for far too long. Um, have you got your data list? Um, I'll let you guys crack on while I just pulled my uh, my data list up. You did kindly send it over to me before. How are we segmenting? We're just we're just going. Me and you have got our own list. Mumro's got his own list. We're just going at it. Um, Mumro, I was going to say, you've been trying to break into the We Have a Meeting account for a long time, haven't you? I, I, hmm. I mean, uh, if you can get Ben on, he's probably a more relevant persona for me to speak to. No offence. Well, do you want to cold call Ben? <laughs> oh, what a shout. What a sh I think he's into, I think he's training the new starters, though, so he might not thank you for it. Yeah, and he also might m make me look like a fool in front of 300 people. He might do that. that that's very Ben behaviour. Um, <laughs> right, let's let's keep dialing, Monroe. You keep dialing. We want to... 
see your beautiful tone. John Snow has entered the chat. I can't, I can't be the Lord Commander anymore. Is this the same list as last week? I've changed it. It's clean. It's ready for you. So bottom to top? And what about the list? <laughs> you, can, you can do bottom to top or you can do top to bottom because I've cleaned it up. There's no one that you should have spoken to last week. That's the kind of best friend that I am. Have you been ready for entry? You've dialed an incorrect number. Oh, God. Classic. My data obviously wasn't clean. Thank you, Jack. No, I'm just, I'm just kidding. This is my own data. Don't worry. We've got 25 minutes. Let's have some good cold calls. Come on. We had Ollie. That was a lot of fun. It's a real insight into what kind of manager you are there. Who? As if people can control that. What? Let's have some more cold calls. Let's have some good cold calls, you said. Well, I don't see your fingers dialing. Let's put it that way. Can you hear? Darling? Darling? He's, he's saying darling or darling. Play your cards right. See what happens. It's nice to see you in person, Munro, rather than giving me abuse on every single post that I make. On LinkedIn. Yeah. I mean, I attended the masterclass as well. That was that was good. I didn't say much, though. No, you kept quiet, and you actually looked quite mad the whole way through. So I, I was. I was. What up? The fact that Ben wasn't on there for me to pitch him. <laughs> Hi, you've got three to the voicemail. How many people are watching? About 300. Wow. Nothing I like more than dial tones. So. It's really sexy. Oh, sorry, that's not Nick, is it? Oh, hi, Nick. It's Monroe here. Um, Nick, look, I'll be very honest with you. You probably get calls like this all the time. It probably going to hate me as well, but it is a sales call. So I'm not sure if you want to slam the phone back down or maybe let me have 30 seconds. It's uh, completely up to you. Most likely slam it down after 15 seconds, but have a go. Oh, fantastic. I'll do my best. Pull out the timer. Well, look, Nick, I mean, I typically get invited into businesses by HR leaders who you know, might tell me that there are two or three major concerns that are top of mind for them. First one of those, you know, they might tell me that they struggle to keep their employees engaged across that entire employee life cycle. If it's not that, you know, they'll say that they're overrun with transactional processes that's really taking time away from important strategic initiatives. Or finally, they'll just tell me that they're frustrated and fed up with the systems and platforms that they've already invested all this time and money into. But look, I've got a feeling that you're going to turn around and tell me that, you know, I'm barking up the wrong tree and probably irrelevant, right? Um, yeah, I mean, that's, you know, uh, get get inundated by calls like that, as you know, Stacey, uh, we're 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 a scaling up company, or, uh, and we we've got a lot of that in place. Um, there's always room for improvements, but at the moment we we are focusing our internal efforts on that with what we have. So, um, okay. yeah. Okay, and when you say room for improvement, what what exactly would you? Uh, no, I, I, I'm not going to go into that. I mean, uh, like I said, I'm, I'm I I I just. Uh, I'm too busy with what I'm doing at the moment. Um, I, will, I will reach out to you if you could send me some data, some information via email or whatever, um, yeah. and if it's necessary. But I'm pretty sure you got my number from somewhere. Uh, yeah, correct. Yeah, I, I got it from the internet, if that's any any consolation. Do you want me to uh, well, sort of... Could you be a bit more specific? Because obviously there's GDPR that you have to comply with. Oh, okay. Yeah, well, I mean, if I told you I was using a site called Cognizant, I don't know if that rings any bells with you. Well, it does ring a bell that I haven't given GPR. Uh, uh, they haven't, haven't given any you know, approval to go and use. I haven't given consent to use my number. Right, okay. Apologies about that. I mean, I'm, I'm sure Cognizant are GDPR compliant or something like that. But well, look, I mean, if Cognizant, can you send me the GDPR approval that I've given you my number to be contacted? Uh, yeah, I'll, I'd be more than happy to try and fire something across. What, what's the best email to, to send it over to, Nick? Well, I mean, I think... But I will, I will, I will reach out to Cognizant and find out how you have got my number and yeah. what and and why you didn't comply with GDPR. So I would also probably not work with a company that doesn't respect you. 
for the rest of your day anyway, Nick. All right. Apologies about that. Cheers. GDPR. God, what's it? that's all people are talking about these days. Freedom. God, bring back the 90s. Bring back the lunches. Tell me where. Oh, <laughs> no, the rules of GDPR and cold calling. I, I don't know. I don't know. So we kind of he had one up on me there. So, <laughs> I, so you can't ring like Mrs. Smith and tell her a conservatory. It wasn't yeah. a CPS number. So no, exactly. Oh, Monroe, very good. I it's like so your brilliant. I like your intro. There was a point where it all went downhill. Do you know what it was? The part where he picked up the phone. <laughs> no, because it wasn't that. Because he was like, oh. "I'll give you 15 seconds." You. There was a bit where basically he like let something be known, like here's the state that I'm in, mm. and then he left something there, and then you went for it without sort of acknowledging his state and maybe asking for another question permission. Okay, got you. Because you didn't, he was then like, hold on a second, I'm in a fucking sales call. What's yeah. going on? And suddenly he was like, and where did you get my number while we're at it? It was like suddenly you woke him up from his spell that you'd put him under. But little tip is just to be like, yeah, I know you've not come for sales tips, but a little tip would be um, to, unsolicited sales advice. Yeah, j- j- just to like play it back to him. Okay, so it sounds like I've called you at the wrong time. This isn't top of it agenda. Look, before I let you go, do you mind if I ask you one question? Mm. You said that um, it might be something that you look at in the future. Nothing's ever perfect. What, what did you mean by that? Mm. And then he'll get talking. But you've acknowledged that emotional mm. state first. Um, mm. You might not have wound up there. You might have wound up there. You sound like a bit of a that's mad, but uh, let's uh, let, let, let's let's move on. The best I'm way to get over a bad call is to get onto another call. Absolutely, oh. and, and Monroe, I'm going to say I don't know what it is. Maybe it's because you're so gorgeous, but actually that call boosted us through. I think we hit about 350 views right at that point. So people oh, people were here for it. I don't know if that's what you wanted to hear. More people heard you. If there's any GDPR lawyers in the chat, <laughs> let the rules be known, please. So the, rules are, the rules are, right, if if you believe that you've got something that's worth, I'm not. I'm going to butcher the, the wording, but if you believe that you've got something that's worth cold calling about, then you can cold call them. It's like if, if they didn't have a fax machine and you knew they didn't have a fax machine and you were trying to sell them faxing, they might be able to get you. But that's not what's going on here. Can I do a because I've got a lawsuit incoming? There's a number on it that's a, that's a guy I spoke to last week. Am I allowed to call people back? Or is this cold calling show only? Uh, no, no, call him back. What happened last week? Give us some context. He said call me back on Friday and I had a meeting. Speaking. That's not Dan, is it? It is. Hello. He- Hello. I don't know if you remember me. We spoke last week. Um, I cold called you about potentially helping you with some new business, and you said you might be interested in talking to me again. Um, so here I am. Uh, yeah, you just called five in the morning. Yes, I, I, I was. I had a, a childcare issue. Apologies, it just flashed up in my uh, in my diary now. Um, are, are we okay to talk for a few seconds now, or? Tomorrow afternoon, if that's right with you. Tomorrow afternoon. What what sort of time is usually good? I don't want to catch you before a, a meeting or in a meeting. Yeah, um, I would say probably sort of half four to five o'clock is probably the best time. Half four to five o'clock. Perfect. Right. I could I just grab just put something in an email or what do you want me to do? Just so I've got it in my diary. Yeah, just, just give me a call. It's obviously fine. I mean, I'm okay. flat out with the quotations at the moment. So um, yeah, just, right. just take the weekend. It's in my diary. The children are taken care of. I'll be there and I'll be ready. All right, cheers. Take care. Bye. What do you mean the children are taken care of? <laughs> They've been murdered and sold. <laughs> They're their parts. Uh, fine. Pickup rates are actually... The pickup rates are actually amazing. That's what someone just said. And this is this is using one of them, a mobile. Uh, we use Cognizant for our data. Imagine say, can you bring my boss? Whoever said that, can you... DM us. DM, yeah, because you obviously couldn't put it in here. Send us a message on LinkedIn, me or Zach or Monro, um, and one of us will call you boss. Who's coming in as just a LinkedIn user as well, there? I don't know. It's probably Jamie, Jamie Payman, isn't it? No, he's roasting us in the comments. I don't know is what it? he's saying, but he's roasting. He's roast me. I'm his cousin. He's not allowed to. <laughs> 
you do have a similar appeal. <laughs> Someone just put, I drink my mum's whiskey or pick up ropes. Um, what are you doing, Jeff? Are you doing on call? You don't seem to do yeah, man. I've, I've actually... I'm sorry, man. It's your idea. All you do is tell us how many people are watching all the way through. Well, listen, mate. Where were you for the first half hour where I was buying the meditation status? <laughs> Absolute piss take. Welcome to the O2 messaging. You know what I could have pulled out on that last guy about GDPR? Go on. Well, GDP now. Jamie, the Jamie Pay Me special. Who's got you know? Who's handsome and hangs up? Boom. Yeah, and actually, with you, it's true. <laughs> exactly. It wouldn't be the lie like Jamie's. <laughs> <laughs> Jamie Pay Me looks like someone who, if he jumped, wouldn't land. <laughs> Welcome to the O2. That was me doing a dials act, just in case you were wondering what that noise was. Thanks for joining, mate. There's definitely some names in it. Guys, can't be. Welcome to the O2 messaging. Oh, great name. Hello, is that Daniel? Yeah, hi. Hi, Daniel. Um, I'm going to be very honest, as I'm sure you get a lot of calls like this. It is a sales call. I don't know if that makes you want to put the phone back down or let me run through in 30 well, seconds. Well, I, I think I think the other chap I spoke to three weeks ago, because you seem to have the same tone of voice. I don't know. Let's find out. Wow. Hi, hi there. Well, I, I guess I can run through in 30 seconds. I don't remember calling you. I, I don't think I have. But if by the end it is, we, we can just leave it there. Is that fair? That's fair. Brilliant. Well, well, Daniel, I'm, I'm typically invited in by ambitious businesses who, if they are honest, they might have some difficulty when it comes to the new business and growth sides of things. So maybe they're not getting in front of the right types of people. So it could be a quality issue and you actually want to focus on bringing in more of the right clients to your business. Uh, it, it could be not getting in front of enough people. So it might be a quantity issue and you want to bring in a few more prospects and actually fill that pipeline. Um, or maybe it's just new sectors that you've always dreamed of. So you're trying to break into a new area or sector, but you're just not entirely sure on, on how to actually get started with that. Um, Daniel, this, this is the part where I feel like you're going to tell me you don't recognise any of those problems. You remember my words bit by bit and everything's perfect. I don't, I don't perfect. think it was you. I don't think it was you. <laughs> it wasn't um, me. I think, I think this was someone else. Um, I don't think it was, but um, I'm going to say it us anyway. Is it the marketing or the outreach or the um, sort of director level advice strategy, that's the word, uh, which are the bits that is you? So I know what to keep. Of course. What, what what do you mean exactly? Sorry, maybe I'm being silly. I didn't understand Your the question. Your main main expert, marketing side, the direct outreach, direct sales side, or the strategic side. But there's which bits are your area? There's there's probably a few bits that, that we could fall into. It depends on which problem specifically stood out to you. I guess out out of the three, what one was it? Oh, I, I don't know. I just wanted to know what it was that your your main area was, really. Um, but if it's if it's a little bit of everything, fair enough. Yeah, it, it, it really does depend. There's, there's a few strings to my bow. I don't want to be a an over enthusiastic salesperson and brag about all the things we can do. Um, so I guess out of the three things I mentioned, more people, the the right people, or maybe like a new sector. Uh, what what one did stand out to you the most? I honestly don't really know because, as I say, I don't. I don't know if it's really for us right now. But um, that's. I just want to know vaguely about you because I was going to save you to my phone, so I'd know what you're on about. Sure. So I'd know what what skill set there was I could have if I needed it. Yeah, absolutely. Well, I guess if I told you that, that we do this um, for, for our clients on behalf of our clients, so, so we help them get in front of more of the right people or help them break into new sectors um, in the same way that I'm doing now, what, what would you tell me? 
um, say is it sort of is it the sort of marketing director, the um, the sales director, the the leadership team? Who do you generally work with when you're doing your thing? Great question. I, I'm, I'm just trying to answer this correctly. I get. I guess we work with different departments and different types of clients, but we help. We help solve those problems. So we help people with the sales. It, it kind of falls into the marketing arm. Um, I just don't want to blabber on about things that aren't appropriate for you. If that makes sense. It's quite all right. Quite all right. Um, but I think it's. I've sort of got the headlines of what I need. Um, but as I say. I, for us right now, uh, I don't know if it'll be for us, but I'm still going to keep you in info anyway. What's your name? My name. Yeah, my name's Jack. Um, I'm calling from a company called We Have a Meeting. Um, cool. When you when you say right now, it sounds like there's there's something in particular going on at the minute. No, particularly. Not particularly. Um, it's just there's already a team doing their thing. Okay. Um, and I'm not really going to um, undermine them yet. No, no, that's that's they fair. Then, then fair enough. They can't do it. But right now, um, I want to leave them alone. Yeah, uh, don't blame me. You. you sound like a good leader. I guess what what would uh, what would have to change in the future for you to say actually it's probably worth getting someone in to have a look at this. Oh, we've got any growth targets that we've aimed. Basically, um, if we if we can't hit the plans that we've got, then um, then we would clearly need some help. Okay. But you, but you brought in a team, and it, and it sounds like you probably are going to hit those growth targets based on. Well, I, I, let's 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 hope so. Um, the the team is only about four or five months old, doing their thing. Okay. So, I mean, so the team's two years old, but we've swapped out some people uh, due to personality conflicts. Interesting. So so, uh, the team seem to be a lot bouncier now. So we'll see how they perform. Okay. Bouncier. That's an interesting choice of word. Happier. Happier. Yes. Happier. Happier. Bouncier, bouncier is the word I'd like to use, but in the context I use it, it is happier. <laughs> okay. They're happier. They're more productive. They're booking more meetings, closing more deals, that kind of thing. Exactly. Mondo. Exactly. Mondo. Okay. Can I ask you one last question before I let you go? Yeah, man. Um, if, if you had to rate their skill set at the moment on a scale of one to ten, what would you say? Oh. No, no one's asked me that before. Um, I couldn't tell you. Um, they're all right at the moment. That's what I know. But um, too early to tell. But you can give me a number. Of, uh, it, it stays between us, I promise. Yeah, I know. I, I've just been making something up, though. If I said something like 75% the way there, um, it's, just, it's just a way of me going pretty happy with where, what we're doing. The numbers are being hit. Um, so that okay, so yeah, that if I guess if the numbers are being hit, there's not like one thing that they could improve on or, or get better with. I, I don't know, <laughs> I don't know. I'm, I'm happy with how they are right now. Okay, brilliant. Well, you sound bouncy, it's been lovely speaking to you. Um, can I ask one last question before I let you go? Uh, go on, then. go on. You don't know anybody less fortunate that that might be struggling with some of the problems I mentioned. Not anyone I know personally, but I would say that for everything I hear about on the Facebook forums is stick, stick at the IT sector. No one in IT has a slightest to say. Yeah. Uh, MSPs, I mean. Yeah. Match, that was right. From, so, from what I know, people in IT don't get many cold, cold calls as well. So I'm going to get on to the old IT people. All righty, good sir. Good luck. Thank you. Lovely speaking to you. Uh, ta ra for now. Ta -ra. Some of that I don't really know what happened. Neither do I. It was very lovely. If you're in the business of making friends, Jack, you'd be too yeah. mean booked right now. <laughs> do you want to say it? <laughs> bizarre, wasn't it? Life is bizarre the way it plays out. Pleasant man. Hello, that's not Adam, is it? It is, yes. Oh, hello, Adam. I think you're going to hate me for this, but I'll be very honest. It's actually a sales call, so I don't know if you want to hang up on me immediately or let me have 30 seconds. It's totally up to you. Well, okay, well, I'll fly through it. Obviously, if you're not interested, I won't bother you again. Does that sound fair? 
Okay, perfect. So I, I normally get welcomed in by owners and directors of ambitious companies who, if they're honest, they're a little bit frustrated on the new business side of things. So there's a feeling that they're not out meeting enough potential new clients. As a result, the pipeline looks a little bit bleak. Maybe that's not an issue, but they feel like they're meeting the wrong types of people who they're not the right seniority, they're not motivated, so they're trapped in these never-ending deal cycles. But this might be the part where you tell me none of those problems apply and I'm barking up the wrong tree. Problems, you'd be surprised i've just literally spoke to <laughs> i've just spoke to four people in a row who said everything was perfect so you'd be surprised um is it for you more of a we want to meet more people or is it more of a right types of people kind of problem um i think it's a right type of people problem we have a complicated Hello? Let me reconnect. Hello? Hello? Sorry, Adam, I lost you. You were saying you have a complicated and then I lost you. Complicated, complicated product, um, and we it varies who we need to speak to. Okay. And uh, the people we tend to bump into are not uh, high enough up the chain to make the decisions to go with our ultimately best offering for them. So we sell the little bits, bits and bobs, but we don't sell the the complete solution because it's difficult to get in front of the right people. Okay. And, and, and my understanding is that you're in the air quality and ventilation space. So I suppose that looks different for everyone. Could you maybe give me an example of someone who would be the right person to get in front of just so I can know what I'm, what I'm talking about? So the, um, um, we need to get in front of um, people who control the purse springs of um, big facilities management companies mm -hmm. um, who can look, um, who, have, who have the authority to kind of shake shake things up and not, not stick with uh, the way they've always been doing things and and listen um, and see some, see some work costs of how changing the way they uh, they operate their facilities management business um, in line with in line with what we offer. How that could how that could save save them money. Okay, so I might be reading between the lines a bit too much. I might have got this wrong, but it, it sounds like one of the things you're fighting against is kind of industry change a little bit. It feels like when you speak to people, they might be not open to change. I think the problem is they they get a cost for doing something some way. They win a contract based on that and they have a certain amount of profit in, in that and um yeah i i think sometimes you don't have someone in-house who can look into these things and be innovative and quite often like one of the things we're talking about is like a low cost regular item that's been around for many many decades um and so trying to change um the way that is done is maybe not exciting enough for them, okay. um, but with the energy crisis and the interest in air quality, it's really a focus area. Okay, they okay. should be they should be looking at. It, it, so, is this is this a new problem? Did, how long has this been going on for? For us, yeah. So we we've kind of transitioned. So previously, we were just a product supplier, um, and the business grew off the back of COVID. Um, selling those products, the interest in those products for new builds has kind of waned a bit, particularly as we were focused on commercial offices. Um, so we've been focusing on trying to grow the other areas of the business where there is uh, repeat revenue. Um, and it's in those areas that we are, we need to make the right, the right kind of contacts. And generally, once we meet with people, um, meet with the right people, we we get business and we get um, continued business, but it's getting those initial 
introductions to the right people that is a challenge. Okay, let me just make sure I've understood. And the other problem is we, we tend to be, most of our business comes through referrals and goes through third parties, uh, which A, reduces our profit, but also reduces our ability to keep dealing with that customer afterwards and sell through onto other projects. Um, and to keep, because we can't just, if it's, if it's our, um, someone else has introduced them, us to that lead, we can't then, once that particular contract's finished, we okay. go, uh, go straight after that customer. That's not, uh, not the done thing. So it, it sounds like you're great when you get in front of people, but there's no one necessarily around that can make those introductions for you. And the other issue yeah. that you have is if it's come to you via a third party, there's certain red tape in terms of keeping the relationship for yourself after the fact. Have I got that right? Yeah, and, and there's a dilution of getting our very, we've got very high, highly trained, experienced people. But when you put someone else in the middle, uh, you lose a bit of that gravitas. Um, okay. Okay, well... Well, I've, 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 kept, I've kept you on the phone for, for long enough. Um, can I ask you a bit of a direct question? Well, if I said that I might be able to help you with that introductory meetings in the diary with those types of people part, I'm, I'm guessing you might be closed off to the idea. You're guessing I might be closed off to the idea. Well, I get, I get lots of emails about it. Um, uh, people, would you like to be introduced to qualified people? And I've never actually spoken to someone okay. about it. We've tried, oh, we've tried mailing lists. Uh, sorry, let me get rid of this call. No, no problem. Actually, two seconds. I'll just do it. All right. Just sorting a call out, and he's going to come back to me. Be nice to finish. I'm still here. Hello. Yeah, yeah, I'm still here. Um, so yeah, we tried other mailing lists. We've uh, we've invested in a lot of marketing, and we're waiting for the leads to come come through that. But we could do with some fast leads with good or introductions with decision makers. Okay, okay. Um, well, look, it, it, it might be worth a further conversation. Would it be ridiculous to put some more time aside and, and see if we can help? I'm interested, yeah. Okay. Well, have you got your diary there? Yeah. What date are you looking at? So I have a weirdly quiet week this week. Okay. So, uh, where am I today? Um, yeah, so tomorrow I'm okay up until half four. And on Friday I am clear from... One. Um, I've got, if I understood you correctly, I've got half two tomorrow, if that's appropriate. Half two tomorrow is good. Yeah. Could I grab, weirdly, I've got your mobile number. I don't have your email. I run a, a company called We Have a Meeting, so I will put that in the subject line so you know what the call is about. Um, do you mind if I ask some strange questions before I wrap up? If we have the conversation tomorrow and you think this person doesn't know what he's talking about, are you comfortable telling me no? Uh, yeah. Yeah, okay. And e equally, if you think maybe there is something in it, is there anyone else we might need involved in that call to talk about potential next steps or anyone else you'd want to be there? Um, yeah, I'll, I'll, put, I'll dial someone else in. Can I give you another email address? Yeah, of course you can. Alex. What's Alex? Is, is he... Okay, perfect. And then the last one, it's the weirdest one of all. Brace yourself. Are you ready? Yeah. Is there any reason other than an act of God that I'll be crying into my afternoon coffee because you haven't shown up? Is there any what? Any reason that I'll be crying into my coffee because you haven't shown up? It does happen. Because I haven't shown up now, I will just be sat at my desk. Okay. <laughs> if, I if I don't show up, just give me a call. If my, my computer 
probably doesn't bing loud enough at me to join the meeting. But yes. Yeah, I'm pretty yeah. used to joining meetings. Perfect. Okay, well, look, I really appreciate your time. It'll be you. It'll be you. It's not, you're not appointing a setting for someone else. No, no, it's me. I'm the, I'm the, I'm the boss, so you'll be, you'll be speaking to me. Is it your company? It's my company for my sins. Good. All right, then. All right. Let's see if we can, uh, if we can work something out. Yeah, let's see. All right, well, I appreciate it. We'll speak tomorrow. appreciate the time. All the best. Cheers, Bye. Bye. Mr. Thompson. The champ is here. He I came can't in away with this. A half an hour, <laughs> but well done. We, we are over time. If you've enjoyed this week's episode, I think next week you'll be able to give us the rundown and let us know if that closes into new business. If you're looking to get in front of new business, I think Zach Thompson might be your guy. Um, <laughs> give us a thumbs up. Just let us know where you've been watching from. If you've enjoyed it today, if we should do it next time, what we should do. Um, give, give Zach Thompson a lot of love. Put Curly Thompson in the comments and give him some praise. Well done. Well done. Thanks, guys. We'll see you next week, guys. Thank you very, very much. Thank you.